Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to 270 to win. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. And also, if you would like to support us, send a super thanks and a super stick sticker. Once again, I'm your highly illustrious President Ross. We're going to edit that intro to this video. And we are on 270win.com, as my beautiful wife said. We are going to fill in this electoral map with 270win.com as a source. Let's fill it in. Okay. We have, according to 271.com, Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada with six electoral votes is two clicks pink for Donald J. Trump, according to 270win.com. So Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Colorado with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Arizona with 11 electoral votes, according to real... Um, according to 270win.com, it is a toss-up state, and it will not be colored in. New Mexico, with five electoral votes, is two clicks blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And the third district is Two clicks, light blue for Kamala Harris. That's the first time it's slowly shifting. So that makes Nebraska at large two electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is two clicks red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes is two clicks blue for Kamala Harris. Wisconsin with 10 electoral votes is gray, according to 271.com. It will not be colored in. Michigan with 15 electoral votes is, according to 271.com, gray. It's a toss-up and battleground. Once again, it will not be colored in. These maps are going crazy all over the place, aren't they, ladies and gentlemen? Let us know how these maps make you feel, because you guys have been following us for about a month and a week, and we would like to know how these maps make you feel. Are you nervous? Are you scared? Are you excited? Because currently, with over a little bit over half the map filled in, we have Donald J. Trump at 89 electoral votes, Kamala Harris at 104, with toss-ups of 345. Let's continue filling in this beautiful map of America. So, Iowa with six electoral votes is two clicks light red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is back to being heavy blue instead of light blue. Heavy blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is two clicks. Light red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance Hillbilly Eulogy. West Virginia with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with 30 electoral votes is two clicks, light red for Donald J. Trump. Some people in our comments have said that they think Florida is going to flip blue or at least purple this election. Anyone's guess, do you guys think that Florida is going to flip blue or is it going to stay red for the 2024 election? Let us know in the comments below. Georgia, according to 271.com with 16 electoral votes, Georgia is grayed out. It is not going to be colored in. It's a battleground, according to 271.com. South Carolina with 9 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, according to 271.com, North Carolina and 16 electoral votes is grayed out. It's a toss-up and battleground. Once more, it will not be colored in. There's no clear indication of who's going to be the winner, according to 271.com. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is two clicks blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Pennsylvania, with 19 electoral votes, according to 271.com, Pennsylvania is a toss-up battleground state, and this state may be the big deciding factor in who wins. We know that Donald J. Trump needs Pennsylvania to win if he does not capture uh, North Carolina and Georgia or Wisconsin. If he doesn't capture those three, he needs Pennsylvania in order to win. If he captures Michigan and Pennsylvania, it's a sure shot that Donald J. Trump will win the election and be your president. 
But if Kamala Harris captures Wisconsin and Georgia and Pennsylvania, it's over for Donald J. Trump. He will not win the election. Who do you guys want to win Pennsylvania? Let us know in the comments below. So we will not color in Pennsylvania. New York, with 28 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. According to 271.com, Maine is blue. M-E is blue. And the 2nd District of Maine is blue as well. And Maine at large is blue. Okay, for Kamala Harris. And these are updated twice a day. So it might not be the same when you check it when you get off of work, if you're getting off of work like six hours from now. So New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Maryland, and D.C. are all blue for Kamala Harris. This puts Kamala Harris as today's victor on 272win.com with 227 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump and Republicans, 224 electoral votes. I'm your highly illustrious and respected President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. out.